So today I want to talk about float valves. This is float valve for my RO line. So look here, my RO line comes in through a little hole in the bucket and this float valve will automatically shut off when the water level gets up to here. You can see the water level is right here right now. So I'm going to turn my little ball valve on and you'll see how the water is running in. If I lift the ball valve up, it turns off. So when the water level gets up to where the ball valve is and lifts it up, it's going to turn it off. This prevents those floods that you can have when you're making water and you forget about it. I leave the water on my ball valve on my RO line to the off position unless I'm making water. Uh, once this is full and hits this, I will turn it off just for safety sake. But uh, yeah, this will help prevent those floods that you've fought for all that time. It's just a simple float valve. I bought it off of Amazon. I think it was $10 or $12 for two of them. Obviously my bucket is a brute trash can. I think it's 33 gallons, 35 gallons, something like that. Uh, it takes just minutes to install. It's on slip fittings. So you just slip it in and I can disconnect it easily and put my hose away. But these float valves can be a lifesaver, preventing a disastrous flood when you're making RO water. I'd highly suggest them. Thanks for watching today. Give us a thumbs up and have a great day.